getting the royal treatment. We yeah. can help you out. <laughs> Travel the world through jewellery with our Jewellery Host Pick event. Your favourite HSN Jewellery Hosts have picked out their favourite pieces from around the world. Plus, get free shipping on your entire jewellery purchase when you spend $75 or more. And HSN.com has even more exclusive Jewellery Host Pick items. You won't find them anywhere else. Join us tonight for this special 14-hour event or search Jewellery Host Pick now. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. Welcome to Generation Wow. For over 75 years, HP has been the leader in innovation, pioneering technology through cutting-edge products and forward-thinking solutions. HP makes life better for everyone, everywhere. From laptops and desktops to monitors and printers, the visionaries at HP create experiences that amaze. Let their experts help you reinvent how you work, play, and live. HP and HSN. Keep reinventing. Only on HSN. Jewelry is an adventure. When you come to the designer gallery and you browse our collections, one-of-a-kind designs, artisan-crafted jewelry from around the world, you get to meet the artists. You get to hear the passion, the inspiration behind every piece. And it's exciting for a jewelry lover to get to share those stories. So if I see something new or meet someone new, it's a chance for us to bring their treasures home and share it with the HSN jewelry lovers. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to be here for this hour. We love our furry friends. I have two cats and a dog, and we want to make sure that they are as loved as they make us feel every single day. So this is a full hour, and we're celebrating our 15th anniversary with royal treatment, thanks to Lorenzo Borghese. Yeah, and, and Karma, who's been here for seven years Karma. with me. Can you believe it? Oh, Aww. he's like a the, little teddy bear. What are we seeing here, Lorenzo? Oh, that is, those are flowers and fruits in Italy where my product is made. And the reason I oh, go to Italy, wow. I, you know, my, my family's from Italy and I've always loved Italy. I like the food there, but the reason why hmm. the food is so good is because of the ingredients. So the reason why I go back to Italy to formulate these products is because I really believe they have superior ingredients. They're olives, they're almonds. Mm. Everything in Italy, you go there, it tastes amazing because of the ingredients in there. Well, it's great so, to have you and you too, Karma. And Karma. You're cute with this little hat. <laughs> so, I love these shows. We're gonna start with their waterless bath and you get two full size products and we've got different fragrances. Right, it's either the honey oatmeal, which I've been doing that fragrance for 15 years or the lavender and cashmere. So if you like honey, just pick the honey. If you like the lavender and cashmere, pick the lavender or and cashmere. Or do them both. Or do you're... them both, mm -hmm. especially at this price. I was just, yeah, anniversary you were just pricing. About it. Yep, you know it. Um, so as we were talking about the ingredients that go into products that we eat in mm -hmm. Italy, et cetera, these products come from Italy and the ingredients are not just natural ingredients, they are in organic ingredients, 100% certified organic ingredients. In each one of these products, you will get 100% organic oatmeal, which is extremely soothing to the skin, 100% organic honey from Italy, again, very soothing and moisturizing to the skin, 100% organic chamomile, and in the wow. lavender, we also have 100% organic lavender oil. Each one of them also contains vegetable glycerin, which uh, helps to create that shiny, silky coat. Now, this product, I'll explain to you how it works and why I love it so much. I am not one that like loves, oh, your birthday hat. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not one that loves, you know, taking a long time. When, when my dog was alive, it would take a while to, to bathe her, especially she was, she was, yeah, big. she was big, she was a lab. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to cut the bathing time shorter. So my um, facility in, in Italy created this unique product for me, which is surfactant free, so it's not drying, it's actually a bath. And it cuts bath time to about, I'd say, 90% shorter than really? regular bath time, and I'd say like 95% easier for you. And so, so many pets hate bath time. They, they, they hate, hate and, it. And so many pet owners hate bath yeah, times too. that's true too. So what you do is you you have your, your foam here, and mm -hmm. again, 
it, it's everything in here is very soft on the skin, gentle, and it contains the organic ingredients. Here you're seeing some before and afters wow. of after one wow. bath using this product. Wow. This is the type of results you can get. There's no trick photography. If your dog is brown, if your dog is black, if your dog is red, whatever color coat mm -hmm. that is, it's gonna bring out that shine. Mm -hmm. So what you do is for Karma, you don't need very much. So again, you're getting yeah. two bottles. This should last Karma two years, one bottle a year. All you need is a little spray and you pump it, you'll see this white foam come oh, out. Nice. And you can smell that honey. You smell, mm. It's just like it's pure really, oh, it's honey really, oil. It smells and like pearly. What's, well, I sometimes I like fragrances a lot and I give it to my lab in Italy and I say, can Good. you, do a, a fragrance sort of like this. And like, yeah, sure. So it does, oh, it's it has. so good. So all I did was I took just a little bit and I'm rubbing it in. Now what you wanna do is you wanna wait about three minutes okay. and let the foam actually do its magic. What it's gonna do is it's actually gonna have, it, it'll actually attract dirt and any debris on the on the skin and on the coat and it'll stick, okay? And it's a little sticky for it's about awesome. three minutes. After three minutes, that stickiness will go away. You take the brush, you brush it right through <gasps> and you have a clean dog and a dog that Aww. either smells like that are wonderful uh, uh, natural organic Italian honey or the lavender and cashmere. I'm gonna send this out to my son in California. It's, it's He's got Lucy an, out there. It's they, such oh. an easy thing to use and you can also, I've been selling it for about two years here on HSN. You can look at the customer re oh, reviews. Oh, it's a huge, huge it, favorite. It, and it always sells out when I'm here. I just brought it back for the anniversary. I, I didn't have it here on my last show in the spring and now it's available here in August. So, and I know groomers love it. If you wanna bring this with you to let them help you out, but you know what? You, you don't, don't even need, need them. To. So you, you don't. You're done. So it's been about a couple of minutes, right? It's been about two minutes. You'll see where I put it in right here. Oh, it's okay? so right on Karma's back. Look at how clean Karma's fur is right now. If we can even get it, this is it's Karma's so glossy natural too. color. This is this is healthy fur. And what happens when the fur is healthy? The skin is healthy, less shedding. Your dog feels better. Um, and also with this fragrance, people that come over are more likely to want it's to true. hold your dog it's true, and want to babysit your dog. They can be smelly. Uh, but this really, and both and fragrances are still here. Let's talk through the honey and oatmeal. And again, you mentioned oh, all these organic oh, ingredients. Okay, so besides the organic ingredients, what I really love, I've always grown up around fragrances. My, my mom used to, and still does, wear like incredible perfumes that I used to love. I've always liked cologne. Even like in eighth grade, I got, I got caught. They thought I was drinking alcohol because I had cologne on this. They called up my parents. They said, he's, he's been drinking. He smells, you know, he's covering up with cologne. It's a true story. I'm like, no, I like to wash. So it's a weird thing. It's, it's, it's my family thing. But here with the honey and oatmeal fragrance in this foam, those are our natural fragrance oils. I have the honey oil and the almond oil. That creates that rich top note. And then the bottom note is vanilla. So it's that sweet vanilla, uh, mm. soft, mm. soft and sweet. It's uh, yummy. Uh, vanilla from Madagascar. Then it, we can go through the lavender and cashmere as well. If you like lavender, I'm telling you, this is like walking Aww. in a, in a lavender field. Have you smelled the, this? No, I haven't. Okay. Let's do it. So, and by the way, you get two on, full-size bottles. This is going to last you probably two years, depending on the size of your mm, dog. And it's a tier uh, it's, tearless it's, it's formula. It's tearless. And again, oh, that's the organic ingredients, the only difference is the fragrance and the lavender has also 100% organic wild oil, lavender. lavender oil. It's so good. And lavender is so soothing too. Your dogs probably would really appreciate at, that. Karma, Karma's being shy, but Karma's face I is so know. cute. I just want to turn Karma around. She's so, so adorable. So everyone, can, it's actually Karma's a he. Everyone, I always oh, get really? confused too. Just because well, he's a he's diva. he's so cute. He's so cute and he, he takes very good care of himself and he's Aww. got this real <laughs> trimming bandana. But all you do, again, I, I just put the foam on. You wait for about three minutes let the foam get that dirt let let the dirt stick to the foam um, if it's a short haired dog as well to do the exact same thing wait three minutes watch tv do whatever you need to do get food out of, out of the oven um, when you when you're done come back just comb right through it the fur and amazing. your dog is clean and those awful odors are gone it's it's really something and you should take advantage of it as, as soon as possible because we have less than a thousand this is an anniversary 15 years we've been offering the royal treatment for your pets here thanks to lorenzo and his amazing family i know you blend prince borghese these old world recipes with modern science for our animals and this is just an amazing opportunity it's your choice of if you can swing both you'll be set for a couple I, years I, I just <laughs> i love just feeling like so it's dry now and if we can get and we'll move these you'll see Karma is completely clean. 
Mm -hmm. mm. And you want oh, to smell karma. Like, you smell, yeah, right, you yeah, want to smell. You, you, know? want to, you want to smell karma. <laughs> and actually, even like if you wait another half hour, karma will be even cleaner and that fur Hi. will be even, even brighter. Does that feel good? And then there'll be less scratching. Can you imagine and the difference between like having to douse them in a shower or a tub and then they're what? drenched and then they shake it all over the place? This, it's a mess. This is the, the quick bath Absolutely. that you can give if you're if you're taking your dog to your grandma or yeah. to your grandchildren or to, or to your friends and you want to do that quick cleaning this is how to do it you're done literally it takes you less than 30 seconds, seconds personally seconds. to clean your dog and, and such, deodorize your dog our dogs are so much gonna they'll appreciate this you know they hate that bath time they go running so this is definitely and my, my producer Catherine has four dogs now and I tell you what uh, she keeps growing the family, uh, let me tell well, you. Well, then she should, she should stock up on this, or maybe I'll send her some. <laughs> so let's talk to this, because so, I know you get back in so many ways, Lorenzo. Yeah, so, you know, I, I feel weird always like talking about my own products because I'm, you know, I, I love them, but I always love to actually uh, read what other people are saying about wow. it rather than me just bragging. So this is a... a um, a groomer that won best of breed with her dogs That's in 2015, awesome. 16, and 17. Three years Aww. in a row using the royal treatment. She says, being a groomer for many years, I purchased every line I could find. A friend then introduced me to the royal treatment and I was absolutely thrilled. The products enable me to keep my eight dogs' coats in beautiful condition. Wow. Furthermore, I've noticed that dogs with sensitive skin mm. have no negative reaction when using these products. Awesome. Then she continues, and we get a close-up, a little <laughs> close-up of her dog <laughs> that says, Aww. the scents are wonderful, and again, you've got the honey oatmeal or the lavender to choose from, and so are the organic ingredients. I highly recommend the Royal Treatment line of products to all of my groomer and breed friends, as well as my family and friends that have dogs. Thank you for creating these terrific products and for caring so much about our furry family members. Now, Aww. if that's not a good looking dog, Aww. and if Justine, it who won, won 2015, 16, and 17 best in breed with her uh. dog, um, doesn't convince you, I don't know what else I, I can say because, I, I don't, again, I don't like talking about it, but I do love getting reviews like that. Exactly. And, and then I love seeing these before and after. That is because incredible. Because after one bath, what, what you can it's, expect. They look so glossy and fluffy. That, and that was actually Karma. That was Karma seven was years really? ago when, <laughs> when Karma first debuted here no. uh, on HSN. But you'll see that, that, that the coat is, is, see that fluffy, like the, yep. the natural bright colors? Yep. What's so important about that is, is not only does your dog really feel better, what the good looking coat means is that your dog's skin is healthy, which means that your dog feels better. You and, know it. And in turn, you'll get less shedding. And then I can't talk enough about these fragrances, but it's not an alcohol-based fragrance. There's, there's, there's a lot of other products out there that have foam. You know, the, there's foaming products out there, but they contain alcohol, which is extremely drying and very So harsh. the Waterless Bath Duo, we have 500 left. We've got both fragrances mm -hmm. with the lavender, wild lavender, or the honey oatmeal. The item was uh, 423371. Hey, we have free shipping when you spend $49 or more on pet care. G get loaded up today. Truly, this is an anniversary, meaning special pricing, excellent product. You will be so hooked. Uh, and let us just send it right to your house. You don't even have to go somewhere to and find it. And it should last for years. So exactly. That was a duo. It's a dollar this a month or something, a, right? Exactly, right? Yeah. This is a quick special on the shampoo and conditioner. Uh, we've got, and these are made in Italy. Keep in mind, these are luxurious. So uh, do we have what fragrance? That's probably, uh, that's a buttermilk and oatmeal. I believe we we had it earlier this morning. There's a lot more than and, this, though. And, and then we're gone. The, the buttermilk and oatmeal, I think, sold out this morning. We were we're selling two shampoos and one conditioner. So this is, if you want to try um, buttermilk and oatmeal, this is your chance. It's a shampoo and, con and conditioner. We also have, you know, the, the products in honey oatmeal. We have it in lavender and cashmere. So you can go to .com and find out what scents are remaining. There's a lot remaining. of good scents. But honey this and banana, one, peaches and, and cream. It's, oh, peaches and cream, I just launched this morning. Peaches and cream oh, peaches is and cream, incredible. And also I just launched honey dip banana oatmeal. So if mm. you like, it, it sounds delicious and it really is. That's, oh, a butter, that's sort of like a cupcake. Buttermilk um, and oatmeal, that's these, so cool. So what, what else about this, sorry to interrupt you, is that besides the three organic ingredients, right. these all have seven 100% organic ingredients. It has organic honey, organic almond oh, oil, organic shea butter, organic oatmeal, organic coconut, wow. organic virgin olive oil, which I mentioned, and chamomile. Every shampoo and conditioner 
that you see here, both of them have those 7100% organic ingredients plus those essential fragrance oils. Go to .com, read the reviews. There's hundreds of them on this product. And this is natural pH balance for your pets. It'll be so good for even sensitive skins. Um, yeah, there's so many fragrances and flavors. Let's take a look. I mean, there's so much. Let's go through How them. Many, yeah, so there's... Almond and shea butter. We've got that in buttermilk and, oatmeal, buttermilk and oatmeal we just showed you. We've got that in coconut vanilla. We have the honey flour. There's also honey oatmeal. We've got this in mm, honey... Uh, honey banana. That's, That's a honey, honey banana. dip banana oatmeal. Yep, yum. Lavender and cashmere. Olive oil. Yay. Yeah. I love this one. Vanilla milk. And then we've got pink grapefruit as well as that peaches and cream. And also, just to mention, it's the last call on the olive oil, it just in general. I don't have it for the entire year. I'm not shipping HSN until next year, the yeah. olive oil. I know, don't. Really, <laughs> but it, I, I, I rotate fragrances a lot, so people get really upset when, when their fragrance is gone. But I let everybody know. I said, this is, that, if you want the olive oil, the virgin and, olive oil, this is the only place you can get it right And now. do it while it's anniversary priced. Next up, we've got the spritz spray for your pets. It's a five ounce size, $11.95. This is fantastic. So is this in between baths? This is in between baths as well. So after you give your, your dog a bath, and if you want something really, really quick, this is not a, it, this is not a bath. This is the in-between grooming process. Um, this is a, a honey oatmeal spritz. This should last for at least a year. All you need is a few drops a day. You just shake it and you spray it right on the coat. That's it. Karma, you're and this awesome. is the honey oatmeal, and this has all the seven 100% organic ingredients that are in the shampoo and the conditioner, and you just brush it right through. Your dog mm. is deodorized essentially uh, instantaneously. It's getting all the vitamins from those organic ingredients and the proteins and the sugars that it needs to, to um, maintain that healthy, moisturized skin. It helps to soothe the skin, and then it helps to detangle the coat. This is not a perfume, this is not a cologne. This is a skincare product that should be used daily. You should brush your dog mm -hmm. once a day, just use Use a couple spritzes in there, spray it right through. Again, this product should last you for a year. It's another customer pick. We have a few different fragrances. I know we have uh, honey and oatmeal. We may have some Mediterranean sea breeze left. Okay, let's, let's see what check we have. on hsn.com. All right, Catherine, thanks for that. Yeah. Chamomile and uh, shea butter. We've got the coconut vanilla. There's the currant blackberry. We've got the honey flour. We've got that money, uh, or honey oatmeal. Honey oatmeal. <laughs> and we've got the Italian milk and vanilla, lavender cashmere. Mediterranean, sea breeze, and the olive oil. And then, so, and it, it, it actually like transforms your dog. You saw what Karma looked like. Oh my After gosh. just one spray, this is Karma. <laughs> so this this is King. You know, I'm, I'm always on with Karma, so I'm just saying, hey, it works on on all the dogs. So for King, yeah, just for give a, a big quick size dog, spray. and if they don't like the, the, the sound of the spray, put it right on your hand and comb Good it right thinking. through. Then you take a brush. What's your name? And then this is King, and now Hi, King. King Smells like Mediterranean sea breeze. That's Lorenzo, it. And look you're how awesome. Shiny that coat Thank is. you so much for what you do for our pets. Oh, I love doing it. I know you do. I love it. I'll I... be back tomorrow at tomorrow? nine. At nine. nine. At nine a.m. That's it. Okay. That's it. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Fifteen years. How's that you. gone so fast? Like fifteen years. <laughs> no, it feels like three. Right? I know. I agree. Thanks like... so much for being here. Congratulations Thank you for again. Me. Absolutely. Oh. Um, up next, we've got not only do we have the do the what do we call these? The doggy dorms. But we've got tropical tropical the fresh breath dental kit for your pets these these are amazing let's face it our pets breath stinks <laughs> this is a way to help freshen it yeah you can just drop it in their water bowl you can spritz it in their mouth if they'll allow it lots of ways to be able to enjoy the application so in fact we're going to talk about that next this is we've got a new fl new flavors today um, and certainly it's nice to know this has been in fact the flavors are original peanut butter and berry fresh developed for both dogs and cats giving them the essential daily oral hygiene it's so so important to help promote healthy gums and not only eliminate bad breath, but it helps really, you know, it lets you avoid that unpleasant pet breath when you use it regularly. Our pet's teeth get really crazy if you're not taking care of it. And sometimes it's hard to get in there with a toothbrush. So what TropiClean does is actually help break away a lot of that the stuff that wants to stick to their teeth. Don Ladd is here with us to talk about how to use it and really why it's so effective instead of the old fashioned way. Right, Don? Well, you know, the old fashioned way is really no fun. And no matter how well intentioned you are, when you go out and you buy that toothbrush for your dog, you know you're not gonna use it mm -hmm. because it's too hard, it's too stressful for your pet, it's messy, and after you've done it one time, it's taken you so long, the next time your pet's hiding behind the sofa, forget it. TropiClean is all about fresh breath, clean teeth, and no brushing, so you don't need a toothbrush. And you do get the full-size 16-ounce water additive, plus you get the clean teeth gel. 
Right, and now we have two new flavors. Yes. So we're adding, you have a choice whether you get the peanut butter, the fresh berry, or berry fresh, or the original. I think we might have sold out of the peanut butter. Oh. So we oh, have original and that. very fresh There now. you go, okay. Yeah. So, and the great thing about Tropiclean is, you know, you have to address their oral hygiene needs. Mm -hmm. 70 to 80% of all cats and dogs, even our beloved pets, not just strays, by the age of three, they suffer from periodontal disease. Mm. And I just wanna show you, if you call your pet over and you see this, okay, that is pain, mm. okay? That is heavy plaque and tartar buildup on their teeth. You can see the gum is very red and inflamed. And you know what? That's very painful to mm -hmm. your pet. This is what you want to see. You want to see clean teeth and you want their breath to be fresh because you know we joke about dog breath, but it's nothing to laugh about because when that plaque and tartar builds up on their teeth, that's infection in there. And every time they swallow, they're swallowing that bacteria. Oh. So it's like a highway through their whole Ooh, system. Oh, I never thought about that. It affects their heart, their lungs, their kidneys, everything. So if you notice, when you go to the mm. vet, the first thing your vet does is he checks their mouth. Mm -hmm. That's why. So it's super Good important points. to maintain their oral health. And I wanna show you how easy this is. Here's the water additive. All I'm doing, it's odorless and tasteless. So I'm just adding a little bit to the water every day. And you can see, they don't even know it's there. Okay, it's clear. so they don't even know and then you can just put that in their water every day put it down for them and Every go, time they every time they take a drink They're gonna have that oral hygiene taken care of the water not actually right even now. has a little bit of chlorophyll in it So when your pet drinks it and that bad breath that comes from having stomach juices and gases and everything that's inside there, that can come up. So the chlorophyll helps neutralize that. So that's what's really good about that. Now the gel, you're gonna use this every day for the first 30 days, really, really easy. See this cone-shaped applicator here? So that means it's really, really easy to get in their mouth. And all you have to do is you just take their lip. Can you hold that, yeah, Hallie? Yeah, absolutely. Come here, honey. And you just lift a lip up just like this and you just squirt the Tropiclean oh in there. Boy. Now you see what King's doing? Oh boy. King is taking that abrasive sandpaper tongue that he was born with, mm -hmm. and he is moving this sticky gel all over his Isn't mouth. That great? And he's brushing his own teeth. So he's he has a built-in toothbrusher. That's so a pretty cool thing. How is that? It really so is. Natural ingredients made in the USA, and just so smart, so simple. I have a little herd of dogs at home, and I go down the line on a commercial, and I can get them all taken care of in just a few minutes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's yeah awesome. it, it doesn't take as much effort as the old fashioned way that they hate and you know they do. You hate it, they hate it, so forget about it. Try the new way. Tropiclean, this is an incredible product. People rave about it. I love that it's even available to market. Pay for half of it, $12.48 to try it. If your pet doesn't love it for some reason, go ahead and send it back, but I know they will. In fact, it's weird because it's, it's, is it, no, it's not tasteless. Now we've got the flavors. Right, the Well, the flavors, original is right, tasteless. Right, well, yes, and it's got a minty fragrance to it. So it lasts about 12 hours. So they're gonna get 12 hours of fresh breath, the water additive and the gel. But the important thing is, you know, you have to do something. If you and I didn't go to the dentist, you know, but just twice a year and then didn't brush our teeth, we probably wouldn't oh, be very popular. Right, yeah, we guess what? We certainly You're... wouldn't get many kisses. <laughs> well, it's the same for your pet. Yeah. You wanna be able to love on them and yeah. enjoy them it's, and be close to them. It's so far beyond just the bad breath that our pets have. This is something that is more about even you know the, the health of their gums and their teeth. And it's definitely something that has to be done. This is the easiest way to effectively help them brush their own teeth. Hi, King. You are doing a great job, buddy. And I'm so glad that you guys are picking this up today. Uh, over 900 have been ordered. I know we sold out of the peanut butter. We have Berry Fresh remaining and the original. And I love the fact you get both formulations. You can add it to their water bowl or you can use the gel and apply it to the side of their mouth as you just saw Don do. And they'll do the natural brushing for themselves. Any dog, right? right? Does this, any is this... age, any size, all size dogs. And you know, Amelia is a senior dog here. And I wanna show you, look at this. I'm gonna put a little pea size amount on my finger. I don't know if you can see that. That's all I need. So this bottle, hey. 
Most dogs, larger dogs, it will last about 30 days, but for Amelia, it will last me months. So and it's Amelia? just so easy. Is this good for cats too? And you too? know, cats can use mm -hmm. it too, absolutely. You know, it's just so funny though, um, people think this is such a horrible thing to have to do. You have to do it though, and it's not horrible anymore, it's easy. Just lift that little lip up. There you go. And you know that cute little thing oh. they do, I think I missed a little bit. They're gonna take that tongue, that sandpaper tongue that they were born with, and they are moving that sticky salt around every They're place in their going. teeth, their gums, every place that their, a toothbrush could never still get. still looking so his chops. It's so effective. And you know what? She still loves me. She doesn't run behind the sofa. Mm -hmm. She gets it every night. And I don't have to worry. Because, you know, if their teeth go bad, they're only, they only get 42 teeth, our dogs. So if they have a problem with the tooth, that tooth comes out. They don't have doggy dentures. They don't get a filling. They lose that tooth forever. And I know my producer, Catherine, she's got four. And um, the oldest, Ava, is, I think, six. And she said that they're scared to even bring them... Uh, Ava to the dent uh, it's, it's, to the vet anymore yeah. because they have to put her under yeah. if they want to clean her teeth and so some of us don't even have that option and it's certainly not something we want to put our pets through we want it to be as easy as possible let's face it none of us probably love brushing no, our teeth we either don't, we don't like going to the dentist either but you know what we don't have to get put under to get our teeth cleaned at least and you know it is dangerous you still have to see your veterinarian regularly of course but you just don't realize if your <laughs> dog is crabby if your dog has having coat and skin issues maybe your dog has lost his appetite, you need to check the mouth because that's the first thing your veterinarian does when they examine your pet is they check their mouth and that's why. So when you walk in that room and that exam room with your veterinarian, they check that first and that is the reason because everything starts in here and it can affect their heart, their lungs, their kidneys. Every time your dog swallows that bacteria that builds up on their teeth, just like we get, oh. can you imagine what that would be like? You wouldn't want you wouldn't want to have your teeth like this. Oh my this. gosh, can you they imagine? And it would hurt. This is what you want to see. So it's all about clean teeth, fresh breath, and no brushing. It can't be any easier, and then you feel good about it too, and it doesn't harm your bonding experience with your pet because they don't mind it. They don't. They, they don't go running, and, and every time they see you come and with them, you know, at them with the brush, they're like, ah. this, that's right. It does really, it is bonding, actually, and it's fun when our pets get up in our faces and they lick us and they, you know, we kiss them. But it's not so fun when their breath smells so bad. I have, I have a friend of mine, her name is Keisha, and her dog's breath was the worst ever, the cutest dog ever. And he loved me for some reason, but every time I'd go down, to, I was just like choking. I'm like that's a pretending bad that sign. I'm like enjoying this because it was the worst well, breath ever. this would be a nice ever. gift for Keisha. I'm thinking. For the holidays. <laughs> I'm thinking. So, you know, I mean, it's really the best thing you can do for your pet because Everything starts there. You've got to do something. The water additive is so easy. All you're doing is pouring that in the water. It's tasteless and odorless, but it's got that chlorophyll in there and a green tea, and it just helps neutralize those gases because the gases also cause bad breath. So number one indicator of a problem in their mouth is bad breath. Just like if you or I had that, we, we wouldn't want to walk around with our mouth looking like this and certainly the bad breath that would come with it. I mean, if so, you've ever had a toothache, you know how awful exactly. it was. Just one Imagine toothache. Imagine having five of them. Seriously. Yeah. And, and that happens often. It does. A lot of times our pets, yep. we just kind of, it's, it's so difficult. We just, uh, we're not going to do it. Well, it's inevitable that it's going to happen unless you're doing something. Like you said, you have you to have take to care something. of them. dogs and cats. This is safe yeah. for both dogs and cats. We do have the two new flavors. We did sell out of the peanut butter. We've got the very berry and the original, which is a minty it's a fresh. Mint. It's like a, like a spearmint gum almost. It yeah. has that nice, fresh smell. And it's all about fresh breath, There's, clean teeth, and oh, no brushing. 300 left in the berry fresh. So almost gone there as well. The original is where it all started. And you can see these are going very fast. 1,100, almost 1,200 spoken for. The dogs actually look like they love it. You know, it's not, it's not stressful for them because it's over so quick, it's so fast, and they don't mind it because you don't have to put a lot of it in their mouth. You're not trying to maneuver a toothbrush around. I mean, think how uncomfortable that would be in and of itself if you had someone trying to brush your teeth. That's just sort of clumsy. So this is just really 
really easy. Do it at night because then it gets a chance to sit on their teeth overnight and it gets a chance to address that plaque and tartar. So what it does, that's like mm, concrete good, on their teeth. Yeah. So I mean, this is, that plaque is rock hard. It's sticky. Yeah. Right, oh. so what you do is you just put it on at night and it dissolves it. So after 30 days, you're gonna see this. And I think we even have some before and afters as well that we can show you. It doesn't take long and it's so, so easy. And you know what? You feel oh, good about it. Can you it. imagine being That's able to prevent 30 days. that before? Yeah. Not only is it a nuisance for us to have to smell their bad breath and painful for them if it gets really bad, but it gets expensive. It does, and, and that's a good point because when you take your dog to the vet and they need extractions, depending on where you are in the country and where the tooth is or teeth in their mouth that needs to be removed, the cost is $10 up to $150 per tooth. Mm -hmm. That's... That really can really can add up. Oh, it can up. add so, up real quick. So pretty affordable to get this uh, the whole set, and you get both. This is the big full size on yep, the, the water, uh, water additive. Yep, yep, and you get the, uh, the full size clean brush. teeth yep. gel. So yep. your choice of natural ingredients made in the USA. Final quantities on the very on the very fresh, and we've got the original also in stock. Item for you is five six five zero two eight. Something else. If you spend forty nine dollars total today, you'll get free shipping on everything. So that's pretty neat. Definitely time to think about taking care of your friends and your pets and your family members. If you shop with us on hsn.com, we have a whole bunch of stuff for our pets. This is pretty cool. This is called the Piddle Place. It's an indoor pet potty. If your pet is maybe not doing the best job at letting you know when it's time to go outside, um, that's something you might wanna have on hand. It's a price break, $30 off. 503941 is the item number. There's free shipping on that as well. Uh, certainly, oh, and it's great that the paws don't get saturated in whatever it is that they might have left behind. So definitely take a look at all of our pet supplies uh, on hsn.com. We want you to feel good about loving your pets back. They're the best, aren't they? They love us so unconditionally. No matter how bad our day has been, no matter how crabby we are or tired we are when we walk in the door, they're always there uh, just to give us, give us some love. I've got two cats and a dog. I've got Oliver, Jolene, and Lucy, and I love them all so much. I know you do too. Uh, this next item that we're going to talk about is something that I own. In fact, this color, I don't own it anymore because when my Jolene had three kittens, I gave two of them to my friend Sharon and I brought them over in that and I, get, I left it behind for them. But it was the best thing. My little Jolene ended up, she kind of had, she had, actually had her kittens in it. And it was so great for her to be able to feel like she was protecting her babies and it was a safe place for them to you know, just kind of like get strong and move along. But what most people use these doggy dorms for is to let their pets enjoy a whole full breeze if you take them to the park or you take them on with you on the go. This, to me, I love it when these are back in stock. And it's been a while, Dawn. It these has. have been out of stock yeah. for a long time. Yeah, it's been out of stock for And a we while. have all the sizes. There's a small, medium, and a large. We've got lots of different prints and patterns and colors. They come with the case. So you can fold them down. They literally fold into nothing. There's yep. no assembly. They pop open so beautifully. And they're really fantastic. I'd love to talk to you because these sell very, very, very well. And you know, the doggy dorm is really just a humane way to contain your pet. Mm -hmm. It's different than what we used to have. We used to just have the four walled crates that came in either a metal wire or the molded plastic. And if you think about those, if you put a metal crate on your floor, there's usually a mark on your floor later yeah. on. They're loud when the pet moves around and they clank. And then those wires that are on there, you okay. don't realize how many accidents and injuries occur because of those metal crates. The molded plastic crates are really hard to clean. And you know, any rectangular shape that you put your pet in, if they have an accident, they're gonna be in their accident until you get home to what let is, them out. I never thought so about that. So you're not only having to clean the crate when you get home, then you also have to clean your dog. And they don't, mm -hmm. or your cat, they don't mm -hmm. like to sit in that. They no. want to be clean. So these give you a panoramic view. Your pet can still feel like they're part of the family. It's safe and humane containment and so portable, so lightweight. They only weigh four to eight pounds. You can take them absolutely anywhere and they're completely self-contained with an attached bottom, which is extremely important. There's a lot of uh, pens similar to this that are not made with an attached bottom. You don't want that because your pet can get out in That's just true. a matter of minutes. They're dangerous. So you want to make sure the bottom's attached. And the bottom on the doggy dorm is actually PVC coated. What that means, it's sort of like the coating that's on your cookware. 
So it makes it easy to wipe up. So if they have mm -hmm. an accident, mm -hmm. you can just wipe it down, spray it down, or you can take it outside and hose it down. Mm -hmm. It'll dry in a few minutes. Yeah, these are these are so great. I I don't know what I would have done without it because at the time that my baby Jolene had uh, had her kittens, I had Lucy with me at the time. Lucy's my uh, beagle dachshund Aww. mix, Aww. and she's the cutest dog. But she was so curious about what was going on, and it freaked me out. Yeah. It freaked Jolene out. She had these three babies, so we got to keep them all contained in here, and they were safe. That's and right. I had to say safe from Lucy but it was just because she was so excited. Right, well, of course, and they're little and they're fragile, and that happens. And, you know, I want to show you, first of all, look how easy it is. I'm carrying Karma. I'm carrying my doggy dorm. You couldn't do this with a big metal crate or a plastic molded mm -hmm. crate, but this is that portable. And I'm going to put Mr. Karma down so he can walk around, and I want to show you how easy this is. So you're getting the matching case. Mm -hmm. You're also getting four stakes that come with it. And what that's used for is if you use this outside, it has little tabs at the bottom, so you get these stakes, and then you just put the stakes through the little tabs so you can anchor it down if you go to the beach or wherever you go. So that's just a nice little accessory that mm -hmm. you get with it. But the best part of all is, you know, you've got these eight sides, which means twice as much room for your pet. And you can see it is open all the way around. It's gonna keep the bugs out if you use it outside on your porch or your patio. But when you're done with it, you know, you don't even have to think about it. See? You just pop it down like that, close it up, and that's it. That's all there is to it. This is lightweight enough that the small and the medium will fit in a lot of overnight bags. And when you go to the airport, how wonderful is it to be able to take your pet mm -hmm. out and say, you can go potty before we get on that long exactly. flight. You can put a potty pad in it's here. It's a great point. A potty, there you go. I'm going to show you some colors, some prints, and the sizes. Because I know we all have different sized pets and we have different preferences. Sizes first. This small will house, it's 33 by 21 and a half in, in height. And that's for about a third, up to 30 pounds. And then for up to about 60 pounds is the medium. And that's 38 inches in diameter, a little taller. And 100, up to 100 pounds is what the large will accommodate. That's a 48 inch diameter, almost 38 inches in the height. Now the colors. We've got all three sizes in teal, blue, burgundy, pink. And then I think we've got a couple uh, in the prints or the patterns. We've got two. Zebra and leopard are available. I had the small leopard and I gave it to Sharon when I when I when she adopted two of Jolene's kittens. But they are so helpful. Dawn, I can't, I'm seriously. So many uses. Your cats, your dogs will Absolutely. love these. So you can use it for crate training after their bath. Throw a drying towel in here. They'll dry themselves off. You know how they always do that on your favorite sofa or rug. Put them in the doggy dorm. Let them <laughs> yeah, do it Yeah, good there. idea. Great when you're having puppies or kittens, like Callie said. And then if you have to introduce a new pet, maybe you've got company coming over that isn't really enthusiastic about your pets. Mm -hmm. You can put your pet in the doggy dorm while they're there, or maybe the bug man's coming and you need to safely contain the pet. You can use it for that as well. House training and incontinent pets when our pets get older. You know how we barricade them in the kitchen or the bathroom. You don't have to do that. Just put them in here hey, and so of, much, so much easier. So, okay, also, what about travel? We talked about when you're at the airport, how fabulous it is that they've got their own portable restroom that they can use that way, but it's also their home away from home. So take it with you everywhere. Emergency evacuations, you don't want to leave mm, your pet at home. You thinking. want them to come with you, and this is not going to take up that valuable space in your car. So you've got plenty of room to keep your doggy dorm in there as well. There, you know, if you have a food aggressive pet, I have a little tiny little dog at home and she is so tiny, the other dogs will steal her food. So I put her in the doggy dorm at night and in the morning when she eats her breakfast and her dinner, and then I don't have to worry about them. Good thinking. Getting, yeah, and if they're on prescription food or maybe you have to give them a pill or some kind of medicine and you have to make sure that pet got it, you can put him in the doggy dorm. Really good thinking. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Have a look at Karma. He's doing so well. Uh, <laughs> and then we've got King in the big one. And I just noticed we've got a kitty over here, yes, too. Yes, and you know, kitty parents, it is so wonderful because Hi. a lot of people that live in a condo, they can't take their cat out, but you can put the doggy dorm outside. The mesh will protect them from the bugs. And that unzips and on the top. And then it unzips so you can access them from the top, any one of these, so you don't <laughs> have to get down on your hands and knees. And there's my little Amadeus. Hi, Amadeus. He's got a bed, his dishes, and his litter box. And if he were in a rectangular crate it would be like this yep so he wouldn't be able to do that and be like he, being in jail he happens to love it he likes the mesh top because he likes to rub his head up against it so <laughs> it's kind of funny you know he stands up a lot and he rubs his head up against the top so they love it also for a kitty litter room 
If you want to put your kitty litter in here so that you know how sometimes kitty parents, you know how your cat might miss the litter box and then it gets on the floor, on your floor, this bottom will protect your floor. So put your litter box in there, use that as a little potty room for them and it'll also help with the tracking out of the kitty litter. Uh, we're getting really limited, especially in the large. So if you have a big pet, definitely jump in here. Again, you can use this on FlexPay. There's free shipping to you too. So you've got that. Uh, you've got FlexPay as an option. Uh, separate the payments. Get it home. They really are... It's, it's one of my favorite things I ever got for my pets. I, I can't... I have to even tell you. You know, I used to be a wildlife rehabber and oh. I have had ducklings in here. I've had really? raccoons in here. I've had a fox in here. Just about anything you can imagine. Amazing. And I mean, at one point I had little ducklings in here and then when the ducklings <laughs> got big enough to let go, I thought, oh, you know, my, my doggy dorm is so filthy. I, it's probably no good anymore. And you know what? It cleaned up. It's Did it beautiful. Really? I still use it. And it was outside for months with these little ducklings <laughs> in it. So, you know, I mean, it just speaks to how well they hold up. The quality, they're made of a 600 denier polyester. So it's, it's like a tent material. So it's nice and rugged. The mesh is strong. The zippers are really good. We've redone the zippers on these and they're just so easy to take anywhere you want to go. So easy to pack up and they look a lot better than anything we've ever had before. You've got all these fashion colors. Yeah, we do. Prints. It's really cool. My producer, Catherine, I mentioned earlier, she's got four dogs and I know one of her dogs had babies. And when, when that happened and the babies came home with, with Ava, it was like, oh, there was another dog that was just not too happy See. about it. Uh, it was Daddy Sam, okay. and he was like, you know, so it was definitely, I think yeah. it was literally a lifesaver. And you know, it, it is a humane way to separate them. And here's something else. What about when you don't want to separate them? What if you want to crate train your pet, but you don't, maybe their best buddy is at home too, and you want Aww. them to be able to stay together that's all so day because you're going to be gone all day? This is the first opportunity that's ever been to let your pets stay together during the day, but they're still crated. And what's, what's really amazing is when you get it home, I tell people, you just open the doors. There's two doors on opposite sides. You can unzip them and roll them up. And then there's little grab tabs at the top. Right here. And I tell everybody, just pop it open. You don't need any tools or anything. Roll them, unzipper the mesh, roll the door up put your, your pet's bedding and everything in here, and they're gonna go right in on their own. That's they a really, love it. It's a really great idea. I know my, um, my Oliver, he will not, for the life of me, he will not let me put him in a uh, one of those plastic things to yeah. be able to take them to the vet. It was impossible. I tried yeah, every pil the pillowcase method. Yeah. I tried everything, yeah. but this worked. Yeah, and you know, the vets love it. I mean, you know, my whole thing, the whole way I found Doggy Dorm was Karma had double broken front legs when I adopted Aww. him. They thought he had a birth defect. His legs were very, very short, Aww. and it turned out they were broken, and it had been an old injury. So Karma Maybe. had five surgeries, <gasps> and he, was, he had to be contained for three months. He had casts on both arms. And I thought, I can't oh put him in goodness. a wire crate. He could get a leg stuck in that and yes. break it. It was just too dangerous. Oh. So I found this, and it was so perfect. Mm. I fell in love with it, and now we're bringing it to you. And Karma, to this day, still loves his doggy dorm. They're wonderful. I'm so glad you guys are getting these. You will, and you will love seeing your pets love them. I get the old it, fashioned, it you know. It makes you feel better when you does. leave and you know that they like going in there. Well, look at the view. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's like a panoramic little suite for them. It and they is. Don't, you know, you put them in a, in a wire crate or a molded plastic crate and it's like doggy jail. It is I mean, totally like being in a cell. I mean, what did they do to deserve that? I mean, what would be the difference between doggy jail and that? I wouldn't want to spend the day in that. one of those. No. I this is either. like having your own you condo. Can't, you can't turn around. With a, and, with a view. And King is 100 pounds. Now, King has, is not around kitties much, so you can see he's very fixated on the kitty that is two <laughs> pens over there. But this shows you the cat is safe and the dog is safe. And there's not a big fuss going on. They're contained separately and everything is fine and calm. And we're in a studio environment. So they work wonderfully, no, no tools needed. You don't have to have an engineering degree to set no, them up, they just pop They literally, right open. they pop open and they, they fold shut and they so take up easy. like this much space. Yep. Literally, they're the best for traveling. When you go, you know, enjoy the day in the park and you wanna make sure your dog stays put instead of go, getting, going and running off, you know, this is just, you will find it to be a godsend. You really will, in so many ways. And Don, oh, you mentioned yeah. earlier, sometimes we have family or friends over that aren't, 
biggest fans of animals. I would prefer to put the family in here, but, I, <laughs> but they don't go for that. So I put my dog in here. I would and, agree. And you know, when you go to the hotel, when you go to a hotel, <laughs> when you're traveling and everything, and you think, oh, I got to go to dinner now, and I can't take my dog, I am so terrified to leave my dog in the room because I'm afraid the room will be serviced, mm. and then I worry. Mm. So I have my doggy dog, Good my thinking. dog. Plus, what if they nip somebody? You don't want to have to deal with that. Right. Right? So you can put them in here. Mm. They're safe, comfortable. It's their home away from home. And when it you is take the polite thing to do if you do go to friends' houses and you bring your pets. That's the exact right word. It mm -hmm. is the polite thing because, you know, you shouldn't invade, you know, how, mm -hmm. and visit on somebody else what you love because mm -hmm. maybe they're not as enthusiastic as you. Maybe they've got babies and, and kids. If, and, if I you brought know. my 10 dogs to someone's house, I probably wouldn't want <laughs> Do you have 10 ever. dogs? I do. I don't oh. usually admit that because you'll judge me, but, ah. no, but I do. I have 10 little dogs. Well, you rescue, and you're needs. amazing. Yes, they're all special <laughs> needs and handicapped, like Karma here, and so I sweet. use this every single day. Yeah. I have them up all over my house. I use them for, for feeding pet aggressive dogs or food aggressive dogs, and for when sometimes they need to get some medicine and you need to monitor what goes in and what comes out, mm -hmm. I can put them in here because if you yep. come home and you find a mess, and you don't know which one it came from. That's a great point, too. You know, yeah. Gosh, I so, can't believe all the great ideas yeah. you shared. I've never even thought of some well, of these. And here's another thing. Kitty parents, when you, if you want to put your kitty litter box in here, right? But you know if you have a dog and a cat, the dog always wants to get to the kitty litter you box. You know why, yep. You can put your kitty litter box in here and leave the top open for your kitty. He can jump in and get to the kitty litter box, but the dogs can't. I remember taking Lucy to the vet one day. I'm like, is it normal that my dog likes to go into the kitty litter box? It's normal. <laughs> they were like, yes. Yeah. I was normal. so relieved. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a name for it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it is normal, and so you don't want that to happen. Well, we'll call it recycling. We don't want them to recycle, so you want to keep them separate, and then that way the cat can can do what they need to do. Large is almost completely gone. I think we have five left. We have the oh. medium size right here, uh, and that holds up to about 60 pounds. These are the dimensions and the weight capacity. Uh, the smaller one is for what I have for my kitties, and I love it up to 30 pounds, but for pets of all kinds. Obviously, Dawn, oh. you've had ducks and I've had bunnies just about and everything. Actually, bunnies too. That's right. Prairie dog. Gee yep. whiz. And I mean, we have people tell us that they put skunks in them. So, there you go. Yeah, I mean, you can use it for just about anything. Thank you so anything. much okay. for being here. And you're thank very you for welcome. your orders. The item is the same no matter what color or size you're getting. It's 83608. So I it encourage you to continue ordering. And I'm going to miss you, Karma. He's ready to there go. There you sleep. go. Back to mama. Uh, Thank you. Don't forget about that free shipping promotion. If you get to $49 on any of your pet supplies, uh, free shipping on everything, which is fantastic. So enjoy. We've got one more item in this hour to help you take care of your fur uh, your furry friends. It's from Bissell, and it's really cool because Bissell, well, for the first time ever, they brought us a bark bath. It's a no-rinse dog shampoo that's included, and this is something that really is, you know, Bathing our animals is difficult, it's challenging. It's a portable system that allows you to give your dog a bath anywhere in the house without having to get near a tub or an outdoor hose. It's been specially designed with certain nozzles that go kind of beneath the fur to wash from the skin up. So it really does a good deep down cleanse, but it's got soft suction and that's what's gonna pull the water and the dirt and the odor away. And plus it makes dry time a lot faster. It's a lot easier, a lot less mess to take care of that bath time for your dogs. Plus it uses a lot less water. If you happen to already own it, I remember the last time when we launched this product, which was just a couple of months ago, it sold out in one airing. So if you happen to be one of those lucky people and you own it and love it, call us. We'd love to hear from you. It's the only full planned airing of the visit. We've got this for on five flex for this visit with free shipping and handling. Jenny Bond from Bissell is here. Hi. Gosh, it's good to see you. I'm it so glad it's finally back in stock. I Remember know. when it sold out so quickly? We sold it out. We launched it with you. Yep. But this is the faster, easier, less messier way to go ahead and clean your dogs. You can clean them inside. Older, younger, it doesn't matter matter, you're going to be able to wash your dog and scrub your dog gently anytime, anywhere. So here we have, we have here? lovely Moby. Okay, now Hi, Moby is a long-haired dog. We love him so much. He's 10. Now I'm going to show you how it works. How are you? And then we're going to go through the machine. Now I turned it on. Now this is the cleaning brush. Now watch. I do the trigger and there's a no rinse shampoo in the machine plus warm water mm. that we added in the tank that goes through these rubberized needles. So watch this. Here are little rubber nubs. They're not needles. And all you do is you push the trigger and watch how slowly I go over Moby. I am actually cleaning 
from the skin up. He's I'm like, sick. I love you so much. I love you He's too, okay, buddy. This here, is how you here. clean it at home. Here so you go. can walk around and move around. You clean from the skin up, and you're not cleaning from the hair down. And that's the difference. So you could even have a long hair dog, and your dog maybe not look wet because you're actually cleaning from the skin down. No, I mean the skin up. Now watch as I do the trigger here. I want you to look through. You can see actually that no rinse shampoo in the waters. I'm going over. It's going down to the hair, but you see the suction coming out. So the great science behind the bark bath is that for an 80 pound dog, and Moby, I know you're not quite 80 pounds, you would only use 48 ounces of water and not the 21 gallons of water if you were maybe <laughs> filling up. gallons. Can you imagine? Dear Lord. But I mean, if you're going into the winter time, this is really a great time. Let the dogs go out, get muddy, go ahead and play, but you can bathe them gently, safely, and easily right in your house. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this side as well. Imagine, this takes what? about 10 or 15 minutes on your dog. Your kids are gonna finally be able to clean the dog easy. I talk about my Trudy and my Mary, they're the biggest babies. <laughs> they hate to have a bath, especially outside with the hose, or filling up the bathtub is so hard. This is easy. Now, also too, I wanna get a shot. We can see that the bark bath is on. This towel, this comes yeah. with it. Because you can hear the sound. It's like a Bissell deep cleaner kind of the sound. That's on this uh, sound reducing rub. And also if you have hardwood floors, it works really great there as well. Just to kind of keep that sound down. But after the first or second time you use it, it's fine. He's like, so hey, where'd you go. get my tummy too there, Jenny? But see what's great? <laughs> He's got a Good very job. long hair. Imagine all the Good water. Job, this all buddy. comes with it too, the towel. Look at how great. So Moby's gonna get his little towel time. This smells great. This is that no rinse mulberry shampoo. It's great and it's absolutely safe. This has been around since 1876. So they make all of their different formulas for their cleansers, but they're making all these shampoos as well. So we'll give him a little bit of look at his face. Look at his little oh, face. Yeah. But what's great is now you can see with his hair and he's gonna be able to be dry in about 10 minutes. He'll come back out. What's great is what we did here. See, it's all the way down to the skin Hi. of the dog's hair. And that's really where all the dirt is. It is. So the, how the machine works, and I'll show it now, we'll let Moby go see his mommy for okay. just a little bit and get all dry. And that's good it. Good I mean, But that Moby. was all it was. See, this is how okay. it works. Okay. He's so good. All, we have so many great dogs. He's on my knees in my He's skirt. He's like, I'm all done. And you did so good in your skirt. See, you can wash your dog even wearing a skirt. Exactly. But this is really how the bark bath works. First of all, I want you to look closely here. So this is going to be that scrubbing brush. Now, these little nubs, they actually go down to the skin of the dog, and you're applying the formula, the, the no rinse shampoo and the warm water to the skin. But then you're getting that suction, so all of the dirty water is then gonna go back through the hose into this dirty water tank. Now and this is this the newest, part? this is it. This is the newest technology right here. This is gonna be the shampoo compartment. So what you have is your no rinse shampoo in here. So when you turn it on, the water from the machine goes through the hose. It then interacts with the no rinse shampoo goes out down through the hose, through the knob to clean the dog, and then it's gonna come back in the dirty water. But you can also, just with a quick button here, you can actually do here, you can do shampoo, or sometimes you may just wanna rinse your dog. So you can then flip it right back over and then do the rinse for the for your puppy. So you've got options. You have options, yeah. and I often just do the rinse as well, and we're gonna bring out a little cute little puppy in just a minute, Mrs. Oh, Bailey. Oh, that's so, you know, you can it's do so, anything. you can, and is this something These are the two, these are the two mulberry shampoos that you get with it. I love them, they smell great. My dogs love when I bathe them now. It's a nice sense of Can you of imagine sweet smell? that feeling? And that's what we hear. Everybody who got this, the, the comments and the reviews I saw, people are like, my dog finally, <laughs> doesn't hate me when it comes to bath time. Yeah. Because they usually run the other direction when they hear that tub getting filled. Exactly. Well, you they can't get drag them to the side of the house to get that hose because they know what's gonna happen. And they do know, and this I is wouldn't a safe want it either. way. Well, you don't want it. You don't want to get thrown into a bathtub, and especially of an old dog. <laughs> but what's great about this, you're gonna have this gentle applying of the water down to the skin. But what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna turn it on, and I wanna show you the suction. That's why you're able to clean a whole dog. long hair, short hair, it doesn't matter. You're gonna be scrubbing from that skin up and not the hair down. And that's why with the bark bath, we can say this is the faster, easier, less Without messy way well, to clean about, those dots. 
Not only do the dogs hate it because you have to fill out the bathtub mm -hmm. and then that's a whole other experience, but I know Lucy used to jump out of the tub halfway through the bath and then everything is a mess. There's water, there's shampoo, there's hair everywhere. And then she'd run through the house because she was just like, get me out of here, I hate this. Yeah. They don't hate it anymore. They don't. It's been really kind of perfected by Bissell. It's a pretty neat thing and I can't wait for you to try it. I know it sold out really fast the last time. We were supposed to have several airings. It lasted for one. Yep. And at this point, we're busy. We have less than five. 500 total available. It's $30 to get this delivered to your door to try it. It delivers for free, no yep. shipping charge. That's on us. Give it a whirl. Yeah. See what your dog thinks. You know, and people love it. Dogs love it. Here Aww. we have little Bailey. Even if you have small dogs, you're going to be able to watch the same thing. Now watch. We've got it on its sound reducing towel. Now even little smaller dogs, older dogs, watch as I go gently over. Mm -hmm. Do you see it just goes right from that skin up and not from the hair down? So even little Cloth where you could actually put some of the no rich shampoo and give them a little brush. Aww. You can do their ears, you can do around their eyes, but you know, you can do their little paws underneath. So all of these things are included. But even a little Bailey like this, give her a little dry when she's done. Bailey's looking at mom. Bailey's like, aren't I good? I love it. I'm so doing much. good, aren't I, mom? But look, it really refreshes. How else would you clean your dogs, especially going into the fall and winter months? Let them play outside, but then don't have her have to fill up that bathtub. Go ahead and do this right in your living room. If you have older dogs or if you're older if you have disabilities washing your dog is such a great way to be close with them to bond with them you get to massage them and make them feel good make them smell good so let them go play let them do all their things do the bark bath and have even little bailey could be probably washing about 10 like under 10 minutes no and it's not like you soak them down no, it takes them an hour to that, dry that's really the science of it i mean and you saw too you're gonna take you just take it right over and what these little knobs do is they put the form the shampoo down to the skin so you're really cleaning from the skin up do you see all the dirt that you're able to get there and then the suction's pulling up the dirty the little dirty water from our puppies and all the extra moisture so you're just going to be leaving with that clean hair and, and i want to give you another good, they feel good I was just looking at my information too. Uh, the traditional bathing of a 60, 80 pound dog in a tub can use up to 19 gallons of water on average, as compared to the bark bath, which takes 48 ounces. Is that not amazing? Right? Just think of saving all of that I water. I know. 19 gallons of water. If you know how difficult it is to fill up the bathtub, especially for a dog this size, to get the dog in, the mess around the bathroom, you're able to do it just with the oh bark bath gosh. in a couple of minutes. And look, I mean, young dogs, old dogs, we had Bailey's 10 years old, Moby's 11 years old. And think about old. even if you just cut down on how many times you take the dog exactly. to the groomer, because I know my friend Catherine, my producer of four dogs, she said it's over $200 to have her dogs groomed and once. It is. It is so expensive, and now you can finally do it at oh, home. You so are here cute. we have cute little maker. Hi, now watch what we're going to do. You I'm just going to turn it on. You ready, maker? Now remember, you just turn it on, and when you do turn it on, it's a little different sound for the puppies, but I promise after the first time, they're going to love it. It's going to make them feel so good. Now watch, even long hair right underneath their little mouth you're going to be able to do. You just do small, gentle little strokes. Yeah, thank you very much. See, he Aww. even knows. He's like, why don't you get under my little chest, Jenny? <laughs> but this is how it works. And if you can get a close-up, you'll actually be able to see right here when I'm doing on the nozzle that form, the shampoo that's going down to the skin. I'll do These it one more time. And then you so see glad. that suction coming out. That's yes. all the dirty, and not the least dirty, but any dirt that might of be there course. from playing outside with his buddies in the dog park or going for a walk. Of course. Because I don't know if you know this, actually dogs that are inside dogs are more dirty than dogs that play outside a lot oh. Oh, because there's what? no rain, they're not maybe going through puddles, so their, their fur actually gets dirtier because they're maybe just rolling around the house, all kinds of stuff. Oh. So this is an easier way. We're going to get right up here. You ready, buddy? There. Oh, that feels good. So oh. if you're an older person, maybe you have disabilities, maybe you have an older dog and it's very sensitive to do a bath the way that you're doing it now, this is really the easiest way to be able to go all the way from the top here, you're Mr. Maker. You ready? I'm going to so do this side. You ready? Good. Yes. Oh, Maker, you're such a good boy. You are so pretty. There we go. I don't know what's cuter, watching the animals or watching the, the owners. 
Watch their animals. I know, aren't they good? <laughs> I'm I seeing mean, all this the parents is really good. The These are so not fun. my dogs, and they're watching their owners. But when I do it at home with my Trudy and my Mary, this is the easiest way. And my Mary, my Trudy, she was just really, really sick a few months ago, so I could not give her a bath. Mm. She was taking all these antibiotics and not mm. doing really well. So the bark bath really was wonderful because I just pulled it out. I could clean the areas I needed to really quickly right in the living room, right around her little bed. Now look, you give her a little rub. And it's all Maker's all ready. How are you what doing, do you Maker? Think? You did so good. But look, do you feel it? It's a little bit damp, but imagine if you were doing a whole bath, how wet the dogs would be. And you know what happens after you do a bath in your house. The dogs come out. Good they point. go all over. Imagine just being able to give a little rub like this. And then look, in just a couple of minutes, Maker's going to be absolutely done. You good did it, Maker. Boy, you did good so good. Boy. But now let me show you how the machine works. So here we go. As you can see, there are those two tanks. So the hose actually goes into that shampoo dispenser and that's where that no rinse shampoo is and then the, you're gonna have the brush at the end so you're just gonna be going over the hair now you have two tanks so the dirty water never meets anything this is the dirty water if you can't remember the last time that you washed your dog or it's too difficult and it's just been a difficult thing to do Ooh. look at how easy we did this and you can do this anytime you could do it every Friday you could you know whenever the dogs go out and play I mean whatever your schedule is these are the things oh. that cause irritants for our dogs. Maybe your dog's having itching spots or those hot spots. Imagine being able to bathe them and making their skin feel clean from the top up. Plus, you're gonna be getting the two tanks, like I said. So this tank yeah. here, fill it up with warm water right from your sink. You pop it in your machine. When you turn it on, it's only 48 ounces, and that's easily gonna be able to clean up an 80-pound dog with one tank. And I mean, you know it's what? unbelievable. Like 48 ounces of water versus like <laughs> 20 gallons. It's unbelievable. It really, and I know our time is up in limited, very limited quantities. It's the first time back in stock since selling out yep. in one airing when we launched exactly. it. Exactly. Not that long ago. So to enjoy, I know people watch because it's fascinating to see how much the uh, the animals enjoy it. Your dogs will love it, and you will too. It is a bonding experience. It's wonderful. It it's really a bonding. is. Uh -huh. Get it? I get Good. it. Jenny Bond. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Five three five five seven eight is the item number. Great job. Thank you so much. Well, and they thanks did to great. the pet owners and the I pets that join us. Thanks for your orders. I'll see you again back here yep. on Saturday with Lancome. Stay with us. Much more to come here on HSN. Have a great night. Well, hi everyone, hope you're having a wonderful evening and our fall fashion edit continues. I'm your host, Lynn Murphy, and could not be more thrilled because Danielle Nicole is an amazing designer who we